Today, by the grace of God, the 15th day of our 30 days fasting and prayers, we will be praying for youth in Nigeria. According to the word of God in Proverbs chapter 20, verse 29, that says the glory of young men is their strength and the beauty of old men their gray hair. As we pray today for our youth, strength will arise within them to fulfill their destinies and to become all that God wants them to be in this nation in the name of Jesus. And as we pray for the youth, every opposition against the fulfillment of their destinies, every opposition against a bright future for them, we resist them in the name of the Lord as God begins to make way for our youth in this nation to emerge in the name of Jesus. Let's say, Father, thank you for your unfailing love, blessings and goodness upon our youth in Nigeria. Father, thank you for your unfailing love, blessings, goodness, and mercies upon our youth in Nigeria. Lord, we bless your holy name. We glorify you for your unfailing love that never ceases. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, always new. Every morning, great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Say, Father, please increase the faith of all our youth in you. In Nigeria, in the name of Jesus, all our youth in this nation and in other nations of the world, Father, increase our faith in you. Let our faith in you be stronger than ever before. Not just in the government, not just in human system, not just in our own intellect, but Lord in you, Jesus Christ, the living God. Let our faith increase in you like never before as youth in this nation and in other nations of the world scattered abroad. Lord, let our faith in you increase that you are our only hope and our only help. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, please guide and protect our young people in Nigeria from the path of destruction and deliver them from the spirit of worldliness in the name of Jesus. Father, guide our youth and young ones from the path of destruction. Lord, preserve them from being cut off from their prime. Preserve them from being destroyed untimely. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that you would deliver our youth from the spirit of worldliness, the spirit of carnality, the spirit of worldliness. Lord, deliver our youth from this spirit in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, you will protect all our youth from the onslaught of the devil against young lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. We say, Father, please, as David defeated Goliath, in his days, let all our youth in Nigeria defeat every Goliath assigned against them. In the name of Jesus, O God of hosts, the same way you empowered David to defeat Goliath in his days, to set your people free from the harassment and from the torture of the Philistines. Also, God, raise all our youth and empower them against the Goliath of their destinies. Every opposition from the pit of hell that wants to cut them short before they ascend to their places of honor and relevance. Lord, let those forces be brought down. Empower our youth to prevail and overcome every power of the Goliath of their lives and destinies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, please help our young ones to obey and work for you at their youthful ages. In the name of Jesus, Lord, help our young ones to obey you, to serve you, to work for you, to love you, to be passionate about the things of the kingdom. Lord, help them to rise for the cause of the kingdom. Let our youth give their lives to you in their prime to serve you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, please make our youth in Nigeria relevant in this generation in the name of Jesus. Let Nigerian youth be relevant. 
Let them be relevant in the global scheme of things. Lord, let their lives be meaningful. Let their being in existence be impactful. In the name of Jesus, we pray for all our youth. Let them be globally relevant. Relevant as citizens of this nation, making impact in other nations of the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, deliver all our youth in Nigeria from the hand of the wicked, the unrighteous, and cruel men. In the name of Jesus, Lord, deliver all our youth from the hands of the wicked. Wickedness in high places, wickedness in government, wickedness in politics, wickedness in the institutions in this nation. Lord, deliver our youth from the onslaught of wickedness. Deliver them, O Lord God Almighty from the hand of unrighteous, cruel men as leaders, men that are not interested in their future. Deliver our youth from the hands of these men. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, please put an end to anything causing shame and disgrace in the life of our youth in the name of Jesus. Lord, anything causing shame and disgrace in the lives of our youth within this nation and outside this nation, anything causing shame to our youth, making them to become relegated, making them to become shamed. Lord, deliver our youth, O oh God, from all these social menace, from all this form of ridicule and shame and reproach. Let our youth rise again in glory. Let them rise in honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, Please remove away the spirit of untimely death in the life of our youth in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Lord, every spirit of untimely death haunting our youth down. Lord, we ask, oh, you would deliver our youth from this spirit in the name of Jesus. The spirit of dying before your time, dying prematurely. Lord, deliver our youth from this spirit in the name of Jesus. Any action strike generational causes, Lord, haunting our youth to bring them down in their prime, to cut them short in their prime. Lord, let all this spirit be banished from our land and deliver our youth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We say, Father, please make our youth partakers of your promises of increase in knowledge in the name of Jesus. Lord, let our youth increase in knowledge as you have promised that knowledge will fill the entire universe. Let our youth have access to the right knowledge, the knowledge that will enhance their lives, that will better their family, that will enhance the development of the nation, and that will make their future glorious. In the name of Jesus, the knowledge that our youth need to be outstanding for you, Lord God Almighty to be outstanding as citizens, progressive citizens of this nation. Let that knowledge possess them. Let them also pursue that knowledge to become outstanding in their generation among other youth of other nations. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We say, Father, please make our youth in Nigeria relevant and useful in the political arrangement in this nation. In the name of Jesus, Father, make our youth Oh God, relevant and useful in the political arrangement of this nation. It is time for the youth to reign. It is time for the youth to emerge. It is time for the youth to take up leadership in this nation. All fears of our fears, all hems of our fears in this nation. Lord, especially in the political arrangement in this nation. Let our youth be empowered. Let them rise and take their position in the hands of our fears in this nation. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. You say, Father, please open the eyes of our youth and give them clear vision. In the name of Jesus, let our youth begin to see clearly visions of heaven, visions of a glorious nation, vision of a rising nation, vision of a prosperous nation. Lord, give our youth visions clear visions of the future now in the name of jesus we pray amen father please pour out your spirit upon the life of our youth to be able to do your will in the name of jesus let us pray for the youth in the holy ghost pour out your spirit upon all our youth in this nation 
You said in the last days you will pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Young men shall see vision, old men shall dream dreams. Lord Jehovah, we pray that you will release the spirit of prophecy, the spirit of power upon all our youth in this nation. Lord, you will be empowered to prevail, to dominate, to excel for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, please let the glory of all our youth be awakened now in the name of Jesus. The glory of our youth be awakened now. Be awakened now. Be awakened now. The glory of our youth rise again. Rise again. Rise again. In the name of Jesus, we speak into the lives of our youth. Let their glory rise again in the mighty name of Jesus. Let their glory be seen again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, every demon in charge of the social media manipulating or every demon in charge of the social media manipulation we dethrone you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of the demonic forces manipulating the social media as vices, negative vices for our youth, Lord, that is derailing them, Lord, that is bringing depression to them, Lord, that is bringing all forms of negative habits to them. Lord, deliver our youth from these demonic forces of the end time. In the name of Jesus, every social media manipulation set our youth free from this grip and hold. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every evil intention behind social media and technology wasting and uselessing the lives and strength of our youth in Nigeria be exposed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. Every power behind the social media and technology wasting the usefulness of our youth. Lord, we command that they be exposed and destroyed in the name of Jesus. Deliver our youth, deliver our youth, deliver our youth in the name of Jesus from the spirit of the end time made manifest through the social media. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. My children, I command you, follow Akemi, follow Rishofi, you follow one. You will not be victim of social media destruction. In the name of Jesus, your destinies will not be truncated. Your life will not be useless and rubbished, even through the social media and technology. In the name of Jesus, your destiny will not be corrupted or polluted. In the name of Jesus, pray for your children too. Pray for your word that this end time saga of the social media will not catch up with them, will not expose them to destruction. In the name of Jesus, I pray for all my children Lord, spiritual children, biological children, Lord, the social media will not truncate their destiny. Lord, they will not be caught in the web of social media destruction. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, deliver our children and youth in Nigeria from the foolishness of social media. In the name of Jesus, deliver our youth from the foolishness of social media. Everything that looks golden, that looks shining on the social media, that seems to be attracting them to commit sin, to go into all forms of fraud, to go into all forms of immorality. Father, deliver our youth and our children from these end time social vices. The wisdom that we need as leaders, as parents, to guide them away from the onslaught of the evil and wickedness on social media. Lord, we receive in the name of Jesus as a church, as parents, as leaders. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lastly, you say, Lord, help our youth in Nigeria to be more diligent, dedicated and committed to their jobs, careers, ministry and families than the social media in the name of Jesus. Help our youth to be dedicated, to be committed to you to their families, to their careers, to their ministries, in the name of Jesus, that they will not be distracted by social media, that their lives will not be cut short. Lord Jehovah, we pray for all our youth, help their attention to be more focused on their future, their careers, their job, their ministries, their families, in the name of Jesus. They will be great in life, they will fulfill their purposes and their destinies. Thank you, most high God, in Jesus' powerful name we are prayed. Amen. May the Lord watch over you and your loved ones, especially your children and the youth in your life and all around you. Their destinies will not be truncated, they will not die before their time. They will live to fulfill their purposes on the earth and they will be great. God will fulfill his plans for their lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We say amen to all these prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you very much for joining me in today's prayers. Please give a thumbs up to this video and share with your friends and family. Also subscribe to this channel if you are here to do so. God bless you.